Hello, I'm Brian Foster. Today we're talking about you don't just live in a simulation, but in a simulation within a simulation. What do I mean by that? Many people have discussed that we live in a simulation in our physical universe. So what do they think created that simulation? What is the alternative? Is there a higher power? They don't go far into that. And in fact, many articles you read about, do we live in a simulation, tries to take religion out of it completely. But how do you take religion, or at least a philosophy of some higher spirit, out of that equation if you believe you live within a simulation? Let me try and explain how it really is. We live in a constructed physical universe. It is a simulation. We are immature spirits who are on a planet of atonement in order to learn to become mature and civilized spirits. We have been sent here with a drastically reduced set of senses so we may change our personality and character given the stimuli we have been assigned. So what, what am I saying? Let me repeat that a little bit differently so everybody can get it. We have superior power, superior senses in the spirit world. We deliberately have blinders on, right? A reduced set of senses. So we cannot see as far, hear as acute, everything. So we have to concentrate on, on different trials and tribulations, different things happening to us. So we have to do self-analysis and decide, no, you know what? We have to take out these primitive emotions. We can't be selfish and prideful. And we learn through these drastic episodes in our life that we need to reform our character and our personality for the better. Now, that's a simulation. Now our life as a spirit. In the spirit realm, it's a land where thought is action. Hence, we are here to learn in the physical world to control our thoughts. Since as we rise in the spirit hierarchy, we shall become powerful spirits. But the spirit world, too, is an artificial construct created by God. In it, we are immortal. How can we think at any stage we have been a physical being um, with all, all the weaknesses of that? No, we never have been. We, we go through simulations of being a physical being with all the give and take and the vicissitudes of being a physical being with a, a defined life and but we aren't. We are immortal spirits. And according to our sets of permissions, when we are in the spirit world, we may roam the galaxies and perform great tasks. But first, we're here on earth to learn to, in order to control the great power that's given to us by God, by this divine set of laws. We can hear, see, feel, touch, and smell. The scenery is fantastic in the spirit realm, but yet familiar. It is set up this way so we may function at a high level. Still, if we wish, we can shed our seemingly physical bodies because you still have a physical body when you pass over from this physical life. It's as you think it should look and it's closed as you think it should be closed. But you don't have to have it. You can just be another logical construct and you can roam all the information structure. You can, you can just you know, explore, is explore a, a whole thread of data and history or whatever you want in different planets, depending on your level and your set of permissions, as I said before. So we can shed our seemingly physical bodies and, and just roam as personalities or characters, these, you know, these impulses, these sets of energy. So we live in a constructed spiritual universe that constructed a physical universe where it is objective, meaning we cannot change things with our thoughts, or most people, maybe some very really high spirits can. So we can actually control and reform our, our character and personality for the better. Because in this higher spiritual universe, which is constructed by God and we are immortal souls, we can have great power. Thought is action we can create. We can create lakes and rivers and houses and palaces and roads and fountains and that is of course you're not allowed to do that or you have to educate yourself to do that as you go higher and higher in the spirit hierarchy and you go higher and higher in the spirit hierarchy as you become a more spiritual loving giving charitable fraternal honest person and you have to also 
accumulate enough knowledge about the spirit universe and how it works. So, I hope this is just kind of teases you. And this is one of my many videos on different aspects of spiritism, which I hope will be helpful for people interested in learning about the spirit realm and its relation to us on earth. I recommend my book, The Spirit Realms. Spiritism has revealed the reality of our existence. Well, I will go through and discuss in greater detail what is the physical universe, what is the spirit universe, who we are, what is the spirit, what are we doing here on earth and our future as a spirit and what we are looking for and the future of earth itself one of the many campuses where immature spirits are trained to become more mature god bless <laughs>